So that's right. Um, and and so you are now working. Uh, you're now directing the Park Center that, for yeah independent media. Let me start by asking you, what counts as independent media? Is this TV show an example of independent I would media? Say, I would say certainly. So independent media generally, I mean, is, um, uh, is considered to be a media which is not owned by a corporate uh, entity, mm -hmm. which is uh, not always a profit-making or profit-obsessed entity. <laughs> okay. Okay. And also, which is also free of state or government control. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the global context, a lot of media systems in, let's say, in Russia, in China, in, mm -hmm. in other parts of the world, I mean, they are owned or controlled by the government. And uh, so, but in the, U, in the U.S. context, you know, its ownership is what actually defines. So we have 80% or, or more than 80% uh, of media we consume here in the U.S. is mm -hmm. actually controlled by five large corporations. Five uh, large corporations. Yes. Well, there's the Washington Post that owns other papers. Yes, that too. But, but Washington Post is also, you know, the owner of Washington Post is the guy who owns Amazon. You ah, know, the, the okay. multi-billion uh, billion, uh, giant corporation mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. has paid zero income tax if you've been following ah. what Mr. Sanders has been alerting mm -hmm. the Americans all the time. Mm -hmm. That here's a, here's a company that is making billions in profits each year, but it's mm -hmm. not paying any income tax. Ah. Uh, you know, and so... Uh, so you have uh, Viacom, you have Disney, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, the Fox Empire. So there are mm -hmm. all these tycoons and empires that have stakes in other businesses, mm -hmm. oil and gas and, you know, things like Amazon or retail, etc. Uh -huh. And they also own media. So media then becomes a part of their business model, a business uh, that they run efficiently and uh, with the view to make profit. So that we do not consider as independent because that is always has uh, is colored or influenced by the corporate interests that those companies have. Okay, so we can say non-corporate, That's right. non-governmental. That's also. right, largely, largely, broadly. Uh, okay, so our little TV program is certainly not corporate. It's, it's not earning any money from no. anyone, <laughs> and uh, and also non-governmental. Although the, um, there is a law that uh, says cable TV franchises can be required by local government uh, to provide a channel for public access. Yes, uh, you know. So so let's also clarify that. So public broadcasting mm -hmm. is is not a bad thing. I mean, in mm -hmm. fact, public broadcasting in most of advanced countries like Canada, Western mm -hmm. Europe, even Australia, you have public funding for media because mm -hmm. citizen, uh, you know, information is treated as a right that uh -huh. people need to know. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have a model like BBC where uh -huh. the British government funds that, but it has a totally independent control and editorial uh, team. So mm -hmm. so the government, while it, it funds the media mm -hmm. entity, uh, you know, to inform the public, it does not exercise direct control, uh, uh, right? So a, a bit like the PBS here in the US as well. Okay. So, uh, and the US, uh, sadly, you know, why the corporate media is so powerful here is that in terms of public funding for media, uh, the U.S. spends lowest per capita in the advanced countries. If you look at Scandinavian model, they spend mm -hmm. lots of money on public broadcasting. Or, ah. or the U.K. I mentioned the BBC. Yes. Or uh, Germany and uh, you know other Western European countries. And I'm talking about them because they are part with the U.S.'s level of development mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, wealth. So uh, in fact, U.S. happens to be the richest and most powerful country, and okay. spends the yeah. least. For pu pu public information. Okay, shows you something about the priorities there of, you go. of our, <laughs> our governmental system. Yeah. Well, tell me more about the Park Center for Independent Media. It's a, a, a separate institute at Ethical College, is it? Oh, uh, no, it's how part would you of... How it? Yeah, so it is, it, 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 it is kind of... Separate, but not separate. I mean, it's mm -hmm. part of the Park School of Communications mm -hmm. and affiliated with the journalism department. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so it's very much part of the Ithaca College uh, ecosystem, or, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, it is run as an independent center, you know, with a view to um, uh, also engage with the community, with, ex mm. you know, externally. So you, the maybe the best known, many of your viewers and listeners would know about the Z Award, yes. which is handed out annually to the best uh, or, or a journalist in the U.S. who has con who has made outstanding contribution to independent media, and uh, so is the award is uh, is a national award, you know, mm -hmm. and it's it's uh, given out in, in Ithaca by the center. So in a way uh, that kind of takes the center beyond uh, the confines of the uh, academic campus. I remember. Amy Goodman coming here. That's right. The first year they, the, uh, that, they gave that's the right, award. Exactly. So we have our IZ award lined up for end of April. In fact, today uh, is the last day for submissions. Oh, we're of filming. I'm, I'm, yeah, we're videotaping this on, on February third. Yes, so February third. Yeah. I'm afraid our, our viewers won't see it in, oh, okay. time, in time to make new nominations. Yes. Yes. But. Think of it for next year, for 2021. Definitely. But the viewers can surely come and attend this harmony end of April at mm -hmm. Ithaca College and hear some outstanding journalists spe speaking about their work. So they speak about their work and you also show samples? If That's right. On video? That's or... right, their videos and their... Uh, we did sometimes, uh, if some author uh, journalists have books, we also uh, mm -hmm. arrange for them to be sold. Yeah. And, you know, signed copies are available. Yeah, the Izzy Award is named after I.F. Stone, the independent journalist in Washington D.C. at the middle, at the middle of the last century. That's right. And, uh, uh, we're old enough to remember him. I, I bet his weekly, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, legendary journalist. In fact, yes. much of our work at the center is inspired by I.F. Stone's legacy. Mm. So, you know, uh, the center, so at, at the center, I also teach a course. Uh, I offer a course in, in independent media, uh, selected topics uh, each mm -hmm. semester. And we read a lot about I.F. Stone, how mm -hmm. he started his weekly what kind of risks he, he and challenges he faced, uh, mm -hmm. and the kind of uh, legacy of truth-telling that uh, he was upholding. Okay, so, um, uh, so as director, you're, uh, you're in charge of the awards. That's right. And you also do some teaching. I do. I, I teach a course, at least one course. Mm -hmm. And then we have an in, internship program. So what we try and do is that students who are interested in, in independent media, who want to explore this further, we, mm -hmm. uh, we support the, their summer internships. Mm -hmm. And they get placed with independent media outlets, you know, like, let's say, Laura Flanders Show, mm -hmm. or Fair Watch, you know, or Democracy Now! I think our interns have been to uh, Mother Jones and, and other places, wherever they can find an internship and we support them over the summer so that they get the idea of what it is like and, and we, we uh, train a mm -hmm. cadre of um, journalists, young journalists who are who are brave enough and courageous enough and motivated enough ideologically mm -hmm. to go and, uh, uh, you know, build a career in the non-profit journalism. So, oh, that is very important. These are students who are already studying. That's right. At, at Ithaca College. At Ithaca College. Yeah. Um, all, only studying journalism or studying... No, it's college? open to others. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's open to doc studies, to politics students, uh, writing mm -hmm. uh, students. Uh, mm -hmm. But mostly who go uh, mm -hmm. and avail of these internships are uh, students of journalism. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, since you've succeeded Jeff Cohen as, as, as director of, That's right. of the center, uh, w would you say you're taking the center in, in new directions or into new areas? Yes, or? I, you know, so the thing is that Jeff Cohen, I mean, he's one of the first few people I met in Ithaca. And he's uh, inspirational. I mean, he's not just a mentor, but a dear friend. And I've learned so much from him, you know, mm -hmm. about the whole alternative uh, universe that exists mm. in the U.S., you know, which you don't see on CNN or don't read in the mainstream huh. and all the social movements and mm -hmm. all the civic movements and activists, uh, you know. Jeff himself is such a... 
uh, you know, formidable activist. Ah. So, so you know, I so I have, I'm trying to build on what he he uh, left uh, because uh, certainly he's left a great mm -hmm. uh, groundwork for me to pick on. But I'm trying to I I hope to make it a little more international, mm -hmm. bring in more global perspectives because mm -hmm. we have now independent media for rising and flourishing in Latin America, in South mm -hmm. Asia, in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in Africa. And so how do we bring in, of course, for that we need more resources and more staff. I mean, at the moment, it's just, uh, it's just two of us at the center and a few students who are interns uh -huh. with us. Mm -hmm. But hopefully in the years to come, uh, we shall internationalize it a bit. Hmm. I'll be interested to see that. Certainly, yeah. certainly, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, another question we wanted to ask you, um, um, can you help independent media to form archives of their publications or their videos or their... Yes, we certainly can. And, uh, you know, in fact, there was a media consortium so it was like a consortium of all independent media producers and we already are trying to build an archive on our digital archive on our website. So our mm -hmm. website is parkindymedia.org. It's mm -hmm. all one word, small, parkindymedia.org. Please do visit and mm -hmm. you will find our news and uh, uh, information about Izzy Award. And, uh, and in fact, I'm also uh, hoping to build that as a portal in itself so that we cover news from Ithaca, Upset New York, Finger Lakes region mm -hmm. uh, on topics that are not covered by the mainstream here. Um, I, I was looking at it and I saw you had a blog. That's right. Uh, with uh, uh, several news stories of... Um, I think I think dated yesterday or the day before. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I saw you gathered them up and and summarize them. Well, That's right. It's a newsletter we issue mm -hmm. now each week. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you want to subscribe to a newsletter, please email us mm -hmm. or email me or email you. If you go to our website, you'll find the contact email and you'll get a copy of weekly Indian media newsletter mm -hmm. where we curate. Uh, what mm -hmm. has been published in a week in mm -hmm. the major independent, independent outlets. Mm -hmm. So these are stories to which you won't find in the main uh, mainstream newspapers. You know, things like mm -hmm. climate change, uh, mm -hmm. things like the you know deceit in foreign policy, military ah. expenditures. Ah. Uh, uh, you know which which mainstream media kind of whitewashes or hides or uh, mm -hmm. twists. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, outlets like ProPublica, Mother Jones. Mm -hmm. democracy now they are very bold about this i mean mm -hmm. for example look at the case of yemen the war in yemen i mean you know the the saudi kingdom has been bombing this poor hapless country millions have been affected thousands of people have died mm -hmm. children are starving without food and med medication and the us is supplying them arms and bombs to kill these people but you won't find the outrage in mm -hmm. the national media uh, that's because when it comes to foreign policy interests, you know, the mainstream elite media, corporate media, and the fo foreign policy uh, and military policy establishment mm -hmm. are intertwined. They don't want to challenge them. Huh. And, that is, that's, and that's how they manufacture consent in the, in the words of, of Chomsky, that, you know, you don't tell people, you don't inform them adequately, mm -hmm. so people will know. So, you know, for example, in my classes, the first question I ask the students mm -hmm. is, do you know how many poor people are there in America? Oh, and I'm always surprised that nobody has a number. And it's not a, that this number is insignificant. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, if it's 5,000, okay, in a big country like US, you know, fine. It's nearly 40 million people who in America who are poor. Okay, so more than 10% of everybody. Yeah, yes. More than 10% of world's richest country mm. are absolute poor. And mm. then, you know, this is just a mm -hmm. poverty line mm -hmm. that is created, but one third, mm -hmm. I mean, two thirds of Americans don't have enough cash in their banks yeah. or, or for emergencies, you know, they mm -hmm. live paycheck to paycheck. Mm. And so when I ask these questions to students, they often don't know. And I, then I tell them that it's not your fault. You are bright students who have uh -huh. taken your SATs, gotten into a liberal arts college mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. are competing with the best. Mm -hmm. It's because you are never told about this. You, don't con you, you are 
not informed adequately about what's happening in your own country. Mm -hmm. And whether it's the health crisis, whether it's the uh, income inequality, wealth inequality. I mean, can you imagine that uh, the richer you are here, the more, the less taxes you pay. This defeats <laughs> yeah. all economic theory, yeah. <laughs> defeats common sense, you know, but it happens yeah. here because, yeah. because that's, people are not mm -hmm. informed. Mm -hmm. And when they are, and when they're informed, like what Bernie Sanders is doing, or others are doing, mm -hmm. they are maligned, and they say, "Hey, look, Bernie is like he is impractical, he is a loony, he won't be able to win, blah blah blah," and so you discredit that information. So in this country too, it, it may not be physically dangerous to be a journalist, but you have to have a thick skin. You have to be able to, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, to withstand. Uh, you do. You bullying and you, indeed, indeed, yeah. yeah.